Hi there, this is Erica Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I have an energy for you guys and the reading, it's not gonna resonate with everybody. I'm gonna put the last cards out. I'm gonna give you the uh, big banger right now. <laughs> okay, so we have a twin flame energy, but we also have a soulmate energy in this reading. You and your twin flame are going to come together, okay? There is going to be some kind of exchange happening. And this is your twin flame. They, and this is because of you or both of you doing the shadow work. You guys have been working independently uh, doing the shadow work. And you've been learning about your shadow and you've been healing. And due to this, there is a coming together here, okay? So give yourself a pat on the back for doing the work, FYI, okay? But also what comes with this energy here is there's a lot of BS that is also coming with this energy. And I just also want to mention here that there is a feminine here that is the Queen of Cups or the High Priestess. And because of her heart, she's being very like careful but she's like surrendering to the divine and not only that like she's following her intuition she's not like controlling her environment she's actually leaving it to the the divine so she's in like this energy of surrender you know what she has she has the ten of pentacles with her so like either somebody is seeing her or seeing this person as the ten of pentacles or you know she's working on her legacy um and she has also this options here so these options here are choices they could be um like you know people trying to maybe buy her attention or you know um she's exploring different connections it says here two or more okay so there's more than two people here will be vying for your attention all at once. So this feminine here is getting a lot of attention from multiple men, okay? Just take the energy, how it applies. Gender, it, there's, it doesn't have to be about gender. You'll have to choose which one to pursue. But with that energy, with this feminine here, she's actually in the energy of like, just like, you know, keeping it cool. You know, she's not... She's not, it, this is not an energy about going after, right? This is an energy of like being centered uh, with this energy. And she could be working with the angels to, you know, be in an energy of centeredness uh, with these choices. Because they could be coming in in many different directions. And because she has the energy of the ten of pentacles here so she has some really big energy or somebody is seeing this feminine as this energy the ultimate the ultimate ultimate um the ultimate creme de la creme i don't know why i'm saying that <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah she's the ultimate here and these choices could be seeing her as the ultimate as well but she's centering herself so this is so cool but there is going to be a coming together of the twin flame. And I just wanted to also suggest that. There's also a spy in this energy. There's an instigator. Somebody's instigating um, work situation. Or they're instigating <clears throat> if somebody's working together with somebody. They're, like, they're looking at who's working with who. They're looking at <clears throat> some kind of collaborative pursuit here. All right, and this is the instigating and the spying. And there's some kind of burden here, and this is the feminine, it could be the feminine. Uh, there's this energy of somebody wanting to um, love themselves, honor themselves, do them, make choices for them, but there's too much BS going around in this person's life, the 10 of wands. So there's so much crap and BS in this person's life that they can't even choose themselves, all right? There's like too much BS in this person's life. Um, they they want to find happiness within, but there's just too much BS. And there's also somebody spying, okay? Um, 
who's working with who or whatever. I don't know what the hell. But this person here is deceptive. There is some kind of deception here uh, with that spy. There, This person has a blocked heart chakra, okay? And this person has been very harsh with their words, uh, quick with their words, sharp with the word, bite you with your words, startling, like very like ruthless even. Um, and maybe have said some really crazy things and communicated some crazy things. And this person has a really, a really blocked heart, all right? There's a lot of darkness and sickness in this person's heart. And there is deception with this person, okay? So they are, there's also an interference here. So there's a, like so much like crazy BS that goes with this person. There's also an interference. Be cautious not to allow others get in the way of an upcoming relationship. Think for yourself. Like, I don't know. Just somebody just really, I don't know why, why they want to be like so like cringy, you know? Um, but anyway, uh, this collaboration here is having to do with the soulmate. So they're investing, somebody's investigating if there's some kind of um, happenings with the soulmate. And the soulmate is different from the twin flame. The soulmate here will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow and it will be an undeniable connection. So the soulmate is also there for a reason, right? And somebody's looking at whether or not this is happening with the soulmate. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to mention that uh, there was something that didn't work out with the star-crossed lover. This could have been the twin flame. Um, but there is an energy here in relation to utilizing your intuition with this twin flame energy. I do feel like the star-crossed lovers is the twin flame. And because of you following your intuition here and because of you... Uh, working on your shadow independently and because you trying to be centered um, with these you know people that are trying to go out with you or get your attention and because you are the ten of pentacles here and because some if you have done the work if you and your twin flame are the same you know they have done the work and there is going to be some kind of exchange with your twin flame all right there is going to be some kind of exchange um i repeat with your twin flame and what do you want to say about the twin flame energy here thank you for sharing that beautiful reading angels helpers and spirit even though it was a little bit crazy what do you want to share about the twin flame to the collective here the twin flame energy okay let go um what's for you will come Okay, let go of what's holding you back. Ooh, we got November. So November is coming up. Surround yourself with positive people. Be grateful for what you have. Um, maybe something significant in November. When you let go. There's an energy here of clinging, control, resistance. Let go of what's holding you back. And this is significant. One more energy. When you let go. Don't neglect your responsibilities. Taking steps towards what you want and being grateful for what you have. Let go of any control and do not re re neglect your responsibilities. That's the message for you, okay? Love you guys, like the video and follow and book a reading with me if you feel called to. Namaste and miigwech.